I'm Mickey Colton. And I'm Chad Dillon. And this, this is the, the Utica Rally, Rally Cross Series. We've come at you live for your ninth race at the Panaka New Y Atoll, and we have a big surprise going here. We've upgraded our equipment. I'm so excited. For this series, and it's go and hopefully will look really nice. There is the starting lamp going by as we are in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on a small little atoll. Yes, and now this is what's going to be the lineup here. Tavano just finally grasping the number one spot. Those guys have been ranging around are going to want to beat him. Now here we go. First man up is Emil Michaels from Chaos Motorsports turning back from Mount Puffy Moe. Let's see how they do today. Yes, the winner from last week in Toy uh, um, yeah, Toyota Japan. Here we go as they move into the crossover. As they drive around that dirt embankment. Now, this is a shorter course yes. in comparison to other ones. <laughs> oh, and the jump bump one. Oh, man. That is just, that's kind of like it reminds uh, you of um, Elkhorn Pike, that that little bump that was in the middle there. Yes, and there's the second jump bump as oh. we head over those smaller bumps and up that nu that other bump. Michael's there's not, a lot of bumps. Neil Michaels, the first, first man up. Not looking, dude, looking pretty well, actually. Yes, and it, it's going to be a real struggle for Emil Michaels, who is going up first day. It's going to be Ooh. hard to repeat that victory on the Laguna Bridge now. Emil Michaels cannot win this championship, so he's just going for the win. A 49-91, and that puts him on top of the charts. Now we have Matt Evans, the Black Mamba. Shining here at the Panaka New Y Atoll. Now let's see how he does as he goes under the bridge for the crossover. You know, this is a nice mixture of dirt and um, road. It's a nice crossover between those two. And it's really going to throw off the driver as well. But Matt, wow, really smooth in there. Kind of broke, it broke, put the brake on it, and really eased off the brake, you know, the throttle, and really was able to ride that bump smoothly. Having a decent run, running similar to Emil Michaels. As we head up that embankment, he makes the turn. Now, this island has a small settlement on there, and I, I use the, small, the term small greatly, as there's not many people here. Maybe about 10. Maybe about 10. But, <laughs> but it works as a racing circuit. And they're using it here today. Wow, and, great uh, turn on the finishing they, stretch. Oh, but not going to beat Emil Michaels. Emil Michaels still stays wow, on top of the charts by sword. just slightly. Now it's time for William Duncan, car number seven for the Duncan Motorsports team. Still has a shot at the championship. Yeah, they have picked up the pace in this last couple races. They have been very consistent, both of them. Both Will, uh, William, Duncan, William Duncan and um, Alex Tanker have been really picking it up. Yeah, unfortunately, Alex Tanker cannot win this championship. But Duncan, hoping to... Uh, Pull up the Black Horse victory. He has to have a really good run here today to make sure he keeps in contention. Right now, not looking too bad. You know, he's run, running with Emil Michaels and Matt Evans' pace. As long as he can inch forward, he'll get a good spot. And you know, I must say, it's a very beautiful island we are on right now. Just look at that crystal water as we drive over the Laguna Bridge. We really can't get a good view of it here, but trust me, the water is beautiful. Oh, look at that right, right, right from over there. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and oh but not that crash. No. He but he comes across the line with the lead still. A wow. 49.72. Times are really close and very competitive. As Tyler Benoit, car number three, your points leader goes out. Now looking good for him as he is the fourth car out today, and there's still many more cars you to know, go. He's, he's used to it, though, because he's always been the first guy up. He's used to it. Now, as long as he's got that motivation, so maybe this will help him jumpstart you know, for a good placement. Yes, Tyler Benoit for the Benoit Motorsports team, trying desperately to keep that points lead going after this race. As he's going around here, oh, Ooh. not looking too good on the on the uh, smaller bumps as we work our way to the embankment here. As long as he doesn't get any slip-ups here, it's, he'll, he'll be fine. He, you know, he just needs a good, nice even run. He doesn't need to be too crazy. He just needs a good run. Around the south point and across the Laguna Bridge, he's trying to pick up some speed here. So As yet to, this area is pretty oh. difficult. Slide through about a 50.07, the slowest time thus far, yeah. unfortunately. That beginning was a little rough. And now, Stavis let's Cortez. welcome back Estavis Cortez. Yep. He, Jeffrey, yeah, continue. Yeah, he, he's looking to redeem himself. You know, he's looking to maybe on this these last two run, these last two races, he's looking to maybe show that in the next season he will be able to compete, maybe actually be a contender next year. Yeah, he's making a Utica Home Track Series comeback. Yep. He's running at Zanport. And also, he's... Um, Jeffrey Finn guy, he's done with his spell on the ride. Adam Dunlap replaced him one oh, thing. Oh, oh. Cortez is really looking forward to having a good race today. Stavis Cortez actually tracking better than Tyler Benoit, the points leader. Stavis Cortez looking pretty good. Yeah, he's actually tracking a little bit better than our current our current uh, placeholders on track. As we heard over the Laguna Bridge, heading right toward the finish there, breaks it, oh, oh. but it makes it through. Uh, 48-87, this is the first Stavis time he's Cortez. ever been on top of the standings. Wow. 
And now we have Dylan White from the Benoit Motorsports camp, the second of the two cars. Dylan White, you know, he was doing great in the beginning of the year. He's had a little shaky uh, couple last couple races. He's been like in the middle of the pack, but maybe today he can get back into that because he's still up there for points contention. He can still win this championship. Yes, and it, it was funny is that for someone with two victories, the most in this series, he's been pretty under the radar. We yeah, don't really talk off. about him. Yeah, he's, been dry, he's dropped off. But you know what? He's kind of like the, you know, the, the mysterious under guy. He's, he can come back at any time. Yeah, he's kind of the quiet assassin. Yep. Dylan White, that should be his nickname. The we have assassin. a nickname for everyone else. Yeah, there we go, the quiet assassin. He is on the prowl right now. He's looking, he's tracking pretty well. Yes, we'll have to see how well he does as he goes through the last segment of the course. Oh, taps the wall slightly. 49. But that's 02. the second place. Estados Cortez still holding up. That's that's the longest he's ever had a first place. And it's the first time he's had a first place. <laughs> this is great for Estados Cortez. Now someone else who's looking to take the win is Joseph Bryan, who is one of those drivers that's on the bubble of being a championship competitor or not. This season's been kind of abysmal for Bryan. Very inconsistent. Yes, yeah. he's not had the runs he wanted. Same with... Uh, Austin oh. Ogo and Brandon Brain and just a, a lot of drivers. Basically, that, the guys that we give amazing intros to, as you just mentioned, yes. have not been as consistent as. Maybe you we think. shouldn't give Dylan White a nickname because that's probably gonna jinx him in the end. Yeah, probably. Yeah, eh, it's not the fastest. I mean, cool man, I was doing pretty good. We gave him the Black Mamba, so. Yes, now Joseph Bryant works his way onto Laguna wow, Bridge. Great turn onto the Bridge. This is looking pretty good. Oh. Wow! wow. Great turn! 48-60. That is going to top the charts, and that's going to give Joseph Bryan a bonus point. Next up, Michael Aurelio for Aurelio Rally Sports, hoping to uh, having a great run today. You know what? He can take that. I can take take that top spot if he really can push in these last two races. You know, he's, if there's a, it's really getting tightly contested up in the top five. You know, it's looking really good for that championship run. And the Aurelio brothers have been really good in the second half. Michael Aurelio winning in Italy, yep. and then Chris Aurelio taking the win in Hong Kong. So both of these drivers very skilled and are looking to really make an impact in this sport. They're going for the money. Yeah, may I point out, Chris Aurelio is finally showing that he can be better than his brother Michael Aurelio. He has been pushing it forward, really trying his best every week, and he might actually be able to surpass him in the Rallycross series. Michael Aurelio having a great run so far. Yeah. He's tracking very well. Oh, speed I have to see really what it is. Has a great turn there. A 45.90! 45 that is going to blow Joseph Bryan's time out of the water! Uh oh, and now we got our man. Let's go, Ogo! Austin Ogo! Austin Ogo! Austin Ogo! Driving! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! He's driving! Austin Ogo, he's gotten that car out of the starting grid and he's going pretty well now. He actually made the uh, Zanvor race, which is uh, pretty impressive for him. It's going to be his first Utica Home Track Series start. You know, I'm excited. Maybe he can have some better luck in the Utica Home Track Series other than the Rally Cup. Now, we got to give him some, you know, got to give him bringing that uh, Ogo flair in the Utica Home Track Series, really get those fans into there. But we'll see how he does today. He's looking okay, pretty average, okay. Good Ogo is okay <laughs> as we head to the line. A 47.71, a very quick time. Wow. He's in the second place. A great run for Austin Ogo. And now it's Chris Aurelio. Car number one. He's looking to take that spot. That that amazing finish from Michael really. Oh, not gonna start, but that bump actually got him around the turn, but he's In everything. fact, this is looking horrible. Yes, <laughs> never mind. Train wreck. Train wreck. But here's the thing. Chris Aurelio, I'm happy for him. Finally, yes. you know, even though he might not have a good race today, but at least he's got that motivation, he's got that spark that really that, that set him, you know, straight. That he he can be better than his brother. And it really excites me, excites me because these, both these brothers, they're not, they don't hate each other, they're good competitors, and they're here every week. Along with that, they're both striving to make sure yes. that their team has the funding to be able to do these kind of things. Hey, after the Rallycross series, I think they're going to have a boost in their popularity, they're going to get a lot of funds going for them, see how they do. As he crosses the line, a 48-32, that's a great time, a third place, he really picked it up Everyone in the Everyone has half. been beating out Tyler Benoit's 50.0. Seven. He's actually currently last place at yes. the moment, and that's going to be a huge impact. And now we didn't mention it, but Alex T Tanker currently Ooh, on track. Ooh, clips the wall right there. Tanker's had an abysmal year so far. Yeah. Things have not been going well for the aid of Alex Tanker. The only success he's had in the Utica Home Track oh, Series oh, related oh, series, oh, Yama Flip, is a win in the Utica Home Track Series at Talladega. So, <laughs> which was good for there, but not doing well in the road courses. You know what, Alex Tanker, he. He's got potential, like a lot of people. He's got potential. He's just one of those guys that just gets really unlucky breaks. You know, he 
he's kind of like Gustavus Cortez in the beginning of the season. He, you know, he he can be good, but he always crashes, you know, random times. Or look at Bristol. He had a horrible wreck with Dylan yeah, White. Oh, oh that's not gonna be a, a 50, 59. It looks like Tyler Benoit will not be last place anymore. Now. Richard Johnson from Bain Auto Racing here. Looking to have a good run today. Yeah, Richard Johnson, a uh, very respectable character in the series. Ooh, almost Always glad over. to see him around the garage area as he goes up through the crossover and drifts it around. Wait, wait, no, no, oh, no, no! Oh. Richard Johnson goes off course. The first car almost flips that car yeah, over. Yeah, we almost had our first DNF of the day. You know, these drivers throughout the series have been getting a lot better because there hasn't been as many DNFs. You know, yeah, Toyota was the first time we had no DNFs in a single race. It might be today as well. We might have no DNFs. Let's see. And oh, almost off again as Richard Johnson's not having the best handling car. He's been sliding around. Oh, oh, oh and whoa! Oh, somehow manages to get his rear end to bring him forward. If you want to run, that'll give you a heart attack. This run is definitely that for Richard Johnson. Oh, his heart's probably pounding right now. Yeah, he's starting. You, you can saw, see a little panic there. He tried to drive up a 90 degree angle slope. Yeah. Like, just as, like, a squirmy, oh, I better get back on the track. That was kind of the opposite of uh, what happened to, uh, who was it, um, at, uh, what was it? Ah, uh, never mind. D don't mind me. <laughs> but. <laughs> because a lot of a minute, minute oh, four. Oh, that is a painful run. Not what he wanted. Now it's time for Ray Davis, car number 11 from the Richards Van Vietti Racing Team, who is one of the top championship competitors and a favorite to win this championship. You know, because he's very, he's probably the most consistent driver I've ever seen. You know, he knows how to come to compete, but ooh, a little drag there, and oh no! Ray Davis! He overturns! That's going to be huge! Oh no! He's stuck. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Ray Davis! The consistency has just been broken, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we jinxed him. We, I can't oh, believe we jinxed him. Oh, the Combinator him. jinx. We just did it. We just did the curse. This, we just did the Combinator curse right there. Here we I go. Ray Davis me. is going to have an abysmal run now. He just needs to finish it out to make sure he stays ahead of Richard Johnson. Maybe he can try and pick it up to beat uh, Tyler Benoit and Alex Tanker, but we'll have to see. I mean, that cost him a lot of time. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. This is going to really kill his chances at the championship. Hey. He might still be in, but... Yeah, I mean, he's it's gonna uh, get Tyler Benoit though. He's way out of reach right now with that terrible run he had. It's a good thing he is the points leader, so he's not gonna be as afraid yeah. as heavily. A minute twenty, a minute and twenty-five, not too good for him. But now it's time for John Cedino for Cedino Ed Motorsports in the five car, who is having a horrible year in other series other than this. Basically, anywhere John Cedino goes. It doesn't go. Well, no, no. Anywhere in the Utica home track series that John Cedino yeah, 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 go. yeah, yeah. He does good in every other series except this one. Yeah, I know. You know, I think I think it's just because he just hasn't had that motivation. He hasn't really had that drive. I mean, this year... No, he's had the drive. I think just every like life hates him. because uh, I guess so. He went through the entire team revitalization program. They're doing worse than they did yeah. last year. So things have not been going well for him. He's at least hoping to redeem himself with right, a right now, rally cross I, I championship. Right now, I think Tyler made out better. Kind of a little bit because Tyler's having a great season for the whole Utah Home Trees. He just the two finishes that he's had. He's yeah, had, but the, the rest of his team is not doing well. Neither of them are locked in. Yeah, I know they did qualify for something. We I'll have to have our own. We have to have our own like commentary show later on. Yeah, but now it's time for Mary Cole having one final race as a replacement driver for Seth Cole, who was injured from a wreck in Hong Kong. Um, Seth Cole is expected to be back for the finale yep. in Dead Man's Curve. Mary Cole with an amazing. Crazy save at Toyota last last week was you know I can't believe she even saved that with the lack of experience that she has and right there it's, you know I can't believe she's able to drive this thing. Mary Cole is a really talented driver. Yeah. She just needs to hone her skills at these types of race cars. Yep. She's not used to these type. She's most used to the stock cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. You know what? But she's doing a great job. She you know you know really. Picking up the slack for uh, Seth Cole being out on that injury from Hong Kong. Yes, I talked to Seth Cole. He's at the track here today, yeah. and he said that he's uh, he's giving her some training wow. exercises for it. And, uh, 47 39. That's a great time. That's second place on the chart for Mary Cole, and only her second start. A great finish. Now it's all aboard the pain train. Oh, whoop! Oh, whoop! 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 All right, now Ben As train. we say that, he's not yeah. doing very well at I'm all at the very, moment. Very. This is a very poor run. You all know we have poor to do Poor Brandon and Bain. <laughs> I mean... I mean, the Bain train is a, is a great movement, but the fan, the excess fans are not helping <laughs> Bain you know, and Bain any right now. You know, Bain train is put to a stop. You know, the, the, the coal's not burning. He just can't move any farther. The little engine tracks. that just couldn't, unfortunately. Yeah, no, no. This no. run's not going well at all, and he's tracking much slower than everyone else, unfortunately, for Brandon Bain. 
who is a, a talented driver, but just had a lot of bad luck. A uh, so 50 -07. We tied Tyler Benoit. Yes, that actually is a tie time for Tyler Benoit, so we will have a tiebreaker later wow. on. Somehow he came back. Now, Matt Duel. You know, Matt Duel, for John, with John City, you know, his team for that he's not bad. He's yeah, for, for a rookie, not yeah, too bad at this. And, well, uh, I guess everyone's rookies <laughs> in this series, if you think about it. Yeah, but some of them have a little more road racing experience. Yeah. Matt Duel's kind of new for, like, most of the racing circuits. And uh, he's doing okay oh, in the Golf Track as well, but uh, he did miss the Megville race. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I expect a lot of good things out of this driver in the future. He, he's got he's got that gumption. He's ready to go out there and take the world by yeah, storm. Yeah, he's excited every week. He's got a good smile, big smile on his face. He's ready to race every week. You know, he's got a good confidence that you don't see very often anymore. Yeah, he, he's also good at getting those opportunities because he, he's usually the driver they pick when they need a replacement. If, oh, clips the final corner right there, but let's we'll we'll see. see what that time will be. Have. 48-51, wow. uh, it's going to be a 6th place, not going to be well. Now we have to go with that tiebreaker between Tyler Benoit and Brandon Bain as he was our last car up. So now Tyler Benoit going through the course one more time. Now the last tiebreaker actually also included Brandon Bain, if I if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, yes, and you know what, it also included... Um, Emil Michaels. Emil Michaels, and Emil Michaels, who was it? Emil Michaels, they got the top time? Yeah, Emil Michaels. It, but it didn't count though. But yes, Emil Michaels, he got the top time in that race, but did not count toward the actual final results. Now, I don't think he's Tyler Bowen's going to be able to do it today, but right now, looking pretty good. Yes, this is uh, training very well. Now, the reason these drivers are able to run a little better on the second time around is that they already know the course, they yeah. know what to expect. They can go out there and try and set that fast time they can. Mm -hmm. Now, Tyler Bowen, you know, if he even... If he gets a good time, it's still going to be frustrating for him. You know, you know him being first runner up. And look at this, great time. Especially, this is for 13. A 46 71. Oh, that would have been second place right there. Exactly. Yeah, that's going to be sad for uh, Tyler Benoit. But if he can beat Van and Bain, he's going to get the 13th place spot, which isn't very impressive. But we have to sell these ties somehow. Yep. Now Brandon Bain going up for his run. This is an okay run at the moment, but Brandon Bain's been really struggling this race weekend. Tyler Benoit, you know. Whoa! You know, oh, Brandon Bain. <laughs> Went off track there. Kind of replacing Seth Gold as a stuntman there. Just <laughs> keeping it on one tire. Yeah. No one could replace the stuntman. Yeah, the stuntman no. Seth Cole. Stuntman stays. If you want zaniness, Seth Cole is your man. Yes, he <laughs> is the man of the zane. Now, Brendan Bain, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to beat Tyler Benoit. He's tracking a little slower than at the moment. I but, think he's going to have a better time than his first time. Yeah, oh, 47, 47 21. 21. Actually, that would have been third place. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, great job for... You know what, I just didn't look as good in comparison to Tyler Benoit, but let's take a look at these race results. Your top ten are Michael Aurelio, Mary Cole with a great run, Austin Ogo, John Sedino, Chris Aurelio, Matt Duell, Joseph Bryan, Estavis Cortez with a great run, Dylan White, and William Duncan. Then we have Emil Michaels, Matt Evans, Ty Benoit, all aboard the Bain train, Brandon Bain, Alex Tanker, and surprisingly, Ray Davis, and then Richard Johnson. Yeah, it's a poor day for Richard Johnson. It just wasn't there for him. Now let's take a look at our point standing going into the final wow. race of the season. Chris, Chris Aurelio is on top of the points. I just want to point out at, at midpoint. Followed by Michael Aurelio, but only by one point. Oh my god, one point different than them. John Cedino, where did he come from? He came out of nowhere. Four points back. Then there's Tyler Benoit, Matt Evans, Dylan White, Ray Davis, William Duncan. That's everyone who can win the championship. Everyone else is mathematically out. Then we now, got Joseph Bryant, Brandon Bain, Richard Johnson, Seth Cole, Emil Michaels, Alex Tinker, and Austin Ogo. You know, rounding out your top 15. And then you got some of the part-time guys, like Finn, like Finn Guy, Cortez, Duel, Cole, Dunlap, and Bishop. Though Bishop has said he wanted to come back in the series yes. for the next season. I just want to point out, Chris Aurelio was at mid at the midpoint in the standings at mid-season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you Tenth. know what? He may, he, he's pushing. He's got that drive. He's great. He, I'm, I'm so excited for him. Well, this is it. The final race of the first season of the Utica Rallycross Series at Dead Man's Curve in New Zealand. This should be quite the spectacle.